Trying to do as much shit, but it's making me a little bit dizzy. It's over here then. Climb this. We'll be able to find the Cyclops and the prawn suits. We also find the rocket, the rocket launch platform. It's one of the items that we can find within this system. For that we need uh, lubricant, aerogel, gel, plaster steel, plaster steel ignite and an aluminum oxide crystal. But we're going to need this. For that we need a titanium ignite again, a power cell and some glass. Now the glass is not a problem. Uh, the power cell is not a problem because we have those and we need only the... Um, the only titanium ignite will be a problem. So we're back to square one, ladies and gentlemen. We need to build the prawn suits. Or a fecal bit. Um. How's it called? The sea moth. I was an idiot and I did not notify that I was going over this behind side of the ship there. That's a little mistake, come on. Uh, there should be enough stealth hits around. That's a bioreactor. I don't need a bioreactor. It's another reactor that I need. Okay, there we go. Let's get to make our titanium. One Ignit. If I was smart, I will pick up one more thing, but not ever. Uh, let's see, the builder is what we need. There we go. A crime to provide an idle opportunity to study alien life fauna up close, but select a carefully fit prior form you bring aboard. They may also be bring on board. They may also be studying you. So we need a computer chip still. Where we don't have to stuff for anything else and like I'm going to say now there's one more class that we need. Uh, let's see. There we go, that's the class that we still need it. Pick up the power cell. Let's make this hatch real quick. Now we can actually go inside of the aquariums and put stuff in here, like plant, beautiful plants and everything. Whatever we can find. Um, next up, we're going to find, uh, make this new sea moth. 
Let's take our little things for a spin again. There we go. And let's make a Seamoth. I forgot that we need a two class. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quartz. There we go. And I didn't turn it into glass. I just picked up one course, didn't I? Yes, I did. Also, everything has to be sorted out by name. Not alphabetic, but you know what I mean. And I forgot to turn it into glass. It's going great for me today. Let's see, let's make some class here. Let's climb this thing and finally make our second sea moth. Correct, there shouldn't be any upgrades in it. Nope, we lost the, the upgrades. CMOS point two has been here. But we can lock it now inside this beautiful moon pool. Where it can charge, be repaired. And we can access it. Now we only need to do modification stuff, so we need some computer chips. I think the problem with the computer chip is that we don't have any copper with us. Uh, the computer chip, we need two computer chips, we need four copper, we don't have copper anymore. That's our problem now. that somewhere else. We have the ion crystal still with us. Let's put that as well away. Let's drink that water. Let's eat some seeds. That's an amazing system. That's still going. Now we don't need a vehicle bay anymore. <coughs> so let's open this door. Close it real quick. Shouldn't have closed it, but let's tore away our lubricants that we can't go to need anymore. And the vehicle bay gets to go back in here. Um let's see. What was that was what we need? Okay, so now if you have everything back in our system. Everything has been built when we need it. Now we need to compute the chip. So let's go over to our CMOF. Jump in it. Let's find one of those special coral tubes that we talked about one time. So. There's one, and it has a big beginning. Also has stuff on it already, so let's hack at that first. I think it was on these, or was it sandstone we needed? Nope, it was this one. More copper.
And it seems that we have a squirter over here. Titanium. Little cubby hole over here. If we can find everything that we need, there's an explo ball there, so that's not over there. It's not everything that we need. We have two, we need two more to even make the modification station. Of course, we need more of in the long run, but. Two is more than we need, then we need what two extra for the rest is in the long future, so we actually don't need it just quite yet. More of those floating first frags over there. Here's one. There it is. That was all the copper that we needed. Let's break everything inside of this tube. That way we can have all the copper that we need for the near future as well. You fucking idiot. Still missed. Okay, we have most of them. I got quite a big load of copper, so we're alright. You gain some, you lose some. It's all how it goes. As long as you proceed forward, you're doing fine. That's a good life lesson. You win some, you lose some. But as long as you're going forward, you're doing great. I think that's a re the best life le life tip I ever given. Okay, so we're going to need two copper wires. Two gold and four coral. Gold. Also, I have a lot of titanium again. And lead. We found lead. And we have selfish as well. <coughs> Let's see. And coral. There it is. That's all the coral that we need for now. Let's get in our ship real quick, our moon pool. 
Last thing that we needed was titanium, if I'm correct. Yeah, two titanium. Should get it out of the PC as well, real quick. So, computer chip. One more computer chip. And let's go up. And let's continue. Um, let's see, we need the titanium. So back to our moon pool real quick. Oh yeah. And here we can make the pressure compa um, compressor and the hull reinforcements. Those two I think is the most useful. Now here's some solar chargers, the Primo defense system, a Seamoth torpedo system and a Seamoth sonar. Here he has the suit, the prawn suit um, jump jet upgrade and the prawn suit thermal reactor. We charge power cells in hot areas, does not stack. The prawn suit grappling arm. And the bronze of torpedo arm that we still need. And here are some torpedoes. There we go. That's all the upgrades you can find. Now we can make them, it's not hard, but the pressure comp um, compensator needs plaster steel. That's quite a pain in the butt. But the hull reinforcements, two titanium, it's a steel. Now, the fuel morph is fully charged. Yeah, I had to sneeze, but it didn't come. And now what we can do now, we can rename the theme off to the S, to the Sea Wolf. We can make the base color black, the name goes to quite red. The interior color is going to be uh, black. No, I want the interior color to be like a little bit of lighter color. Oh, gold blue, gold yellow. Wait, can we go for silver? Almost, silver's a little bit darker. We could go quite white, but I go for quite white. And the yellow stripes going to be red stripes and white stripe. So we just turn it around, like white stripes, red stripes. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> So there it is written, the SS, the Sea Wolf, is our Sea Moth. Now you can also see the um, upgrade panel a little bit better. And what we're going to do for this little baby, is we're going to get ourselves the Titanium Ignits. So upgrade it a little bit. Let's put away our, well I think we can make a computer chip as well, we need for this one. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. This will make the hull a little bit stronger. Now, what was the other one that there was? Computer chip for to re, uh, recycle heat by producing to minimize power efficiency. Gives us a little bit more power. You can also charge it with a uh, solar charger. So I'm going to put that one in, so the hull is, oh, Welcome aboard, Captain. is a little bit stronger. Um, let's see, the line is really useful. Now this one is very useful and I actually want, should we get, I want actually want this one, but we need a computer chip for that again. 